So this will be an energy read for you today. Just a little guidance to get you through the day or to maybe figure out why things went the way they were. Hope you liked the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is an energy read for you today. Um, so you might pay a psychic on the street corner a few bucks for this, but it's free here, so just enjoy. I'll just uh, draw a full Celtic cross uh, to see uh, what uh, might be happening for you, why things might be happening for you, what the attitude might be today around your situation. So let's get into it. Of course, what makes this uh, more meaningful for you uh, is if you just kind of s maybe do a little meditation, just close your eyes and think about what you hope will happen today or, or whatever makes you uh, feel good. Think about a better time, a cool place, uh, a calmer thing, and uh, and then uh, send that out into the universe and hopefully I'll catch it on this side and it'll come through for you in the cards. So um, here we go. We're going to talk about the cards and then we'll do the uh, full card energy read personally for you. Okay, so this deck by Los Carabillo is by renowned uh, uh, child, uh, children's book uh, illustrator uh, Arthur Rackham. So this is called the Arthur Rackham Tarot. And these are amazing. Um, this uh, fellow was uh, born in 1867 and he was an illustrator of such books as uh, the Brothers Grimm uh, Tales, um, Peter, who was it? Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens. And uh, so the cards themselves, they come in this typical uh, box. Okay, and it's got illustrations from uh, Rackham all around it, which is nice. The uh, illustration booklet is just a typical uh, booklet in, I think, three languages and just with a very brief uh, talk about uh, Rackham here, but with good um, suggestions as to how to divine the cards, but nothing to write home about. <clears throat> the cards themselves, they're just typical. There's nothing special about the back that I can see, and uh, they're easy to handle, And uh, but the thing about these cards is the work. So when you have an artist who has gone into such detail for these images, and these are pulled from his works over the um, ages, I guess, you know, I guess he was active uh, 100 years ago or so. And uh, so fairy tales for children. And so this sort of stuff just really lends itself perfectly to telling stories in the tarot. The one thing that's odd, like, so for instance, here's a nine of pentacles, and you won't see nine pentacles on here, so you really have to know what the divination is, and then interpret his drawings, which are just fantastical, uh, into that uh, divination. So I like to put the cards out like this so that you can get an idea of what the decks look like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards, or I always have my eyes open for something different. Um, I love that uh, artists uh, come up with these cards, and... Um, they put so much attention into the original uh, works, and then that gives us, and then when someone wants to choose from their vast uh, repertoire to interpret the tarot, that's even more intention laid on top of that. So I hope you like them. I'm crazy about them. So these are Arthur Rackman's, or just the Rackman Tarot by Les Carabillo. Okay, let's get this energy read for you underway. These are fantastic cards, and hopefully we're going to have some very insightful things come out for us. So this is the seven of pentacles wondering if we've done enough. Well, we're going to do enough today. I'll tell you that. So what you can do from your part is to really consider or, you know, put out into the universe uh, carefully what's uh, concerning you, what's going on in your life, and what do you need uh, some guidance with. And uh, I always like to say this is kind of like looking out the window, this energy read, like looking out the window to see what the weather's like and how you're going to get dressed uh, for that day. So this uh, hopefully will give you some insight as what you might expect today, or if you're taking a look at it at the end of your day, you may uh, say, oh, okay, that's why this happened. That's why things worked out the way they did. So six cards will be full Celtic cross. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. The signifier card 
for this full energy read for you today. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Eight of Pentacles. So the, <clears throat> the Eight of Pentacles is the apprentice. Okay, this is the fellow who has practiced his craft. He's got it down to a T, just perfectly uh, performed the way it should be. So in this rack of material, you can see this little troll right here almost with his hammer, and he's got this uh, iron uh, on the anvil getting ready to pound it out into the perfect shape. So the apprentice. So the signifier of this is probably making sure that you're doing this as well as you can. The uh, challenge to that, then, with this Ace of Wands, Wands are uh, actions, uh, forward movement, plans, and this Ace of Wands is just a great big plan. Look at this beautiful gnarled tree, just the ultimate wand. So this is a promise of how a, a, a small plan can become something really magnificent and something to, to look forward to. So the challenge to getting this right is understanding that it's important enough to make this plan uh, as, as, as beautiful as it can be to make sure that your practice is good. The base of this reading, then, for this energy read today is this Eight of Swords. You know, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And sadly, in this fairy tale, so this, uh, uh, in, the, in the story, if you remember it, the witch had the, the little uh, uh, boy in the cage, fattening him up for later. Oof. So this Eight of uh, Swords is, is just letting us know that we can feel trapped sometimes, that like we can't get out. But if you remember the story, they did find a way out. So don't worry about that uh, feel, that oppressed feeling that you have. You can work your way out of it. And the past to this reading with this Ten of Pentacles, this is familiar wealth. This is generational value. Okay, so we come into this with all the um, uh, everything that's behind us from from just all the generations, all the people that have come to make us who we are today. That's what we're. That's the knowledge. That's the courage. That's the intuition that we're bringing into this situation. The sky of this reading with this two of wands is small term plans. Small t plans are uh, wands are plans, actions. And look, this tree right here, we can see here, this maybe was the beginning of that tree. And look how beautiful it was. So just a small term plan, just something to get you going on towards something better is all you need to aim for right now. Just get this ball moving. And in the likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross, with this Knight of Swords, okay, so this Knight is going to take the action and make it happen. They're going to take that truth. They're going to take that justice, get those rules, understand that law, and move it forward, okay? So the first part of this is very clear to overcome uh, anything that may be uh, holding us back. The signifier card for this uh, draw today then right here, the self of that question, um, uh, what uh, is it that we need to focus on today, is this Ten of Pentacles. Uh, I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is showing us that sometimes it can be heard like herding, uh, like uh, shooing a herd of geese up a hill. That's how difficult our plans can be, our actions might be. But we can get it done. This uh, um, shepherdess, she gets it done every single day. She moves those geese where they need to go. And this shadowy figure right here, and just at the edge, of the scene lets you know that sometimes there's an unforeseen, an unseen force that uh, actually accompanies you in your mission. So the self of this uh, question today is understand it's within you and the universe to make this happen. The um, environment that that's in with this Knight of Cups is the Cups are emotion, compassion, and this Knight is going to get this thing done. He's going to understand the surprise. See this little fish just get ready to jump out of the water? He's going to understand what needs to get done and scoop that fish up and, and move this plan forward. It's okay, so that is an authoritative yes. The hopes and the fears for this with this 10 of the Major Arcana, this is the, uh, the um, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, right here. So this is understanding that there's wonderful things in the mix for us in the future, okay? We just need to look down, recognize those faces, and then take our good fortune uh, with us. And then the uh, likely outcome of this whole thing, this energy read for you today, is this the three of the major arcana. This is the Empress. She's fruitful. She's Mother Nature. She has all the knowledge and the power and the amazing ability to bring forth something new and shining and, and wonderful with her intuition. So yeah, the energy read for you today is, okay, practice. Get practice what you do. There's, there's the challenge is that this 
is going to be something of major importance. Um, you may feel a little trapped, but remember, just like the fairy tale, there's a way out. We come into this with generational values that will help us make this decision. The sky of this reading with this two of wands is it just takes one little plan to get you stepping in the right direction. And then the likely outcome with this knight of swords is uh, understand that this knight of swords is going to make sure that their remit occurs. The self of that question is that even though it's difficult, it may be hard in this ten of wands, but this knight of cups, your compassion is what's going to see you through to make this thing happen. The, the wheel of fortune is always turning in your direction to something wonderful just within reach for you. And then the um, uh, likely outcome of the whole thing with this empress is the fruitful uh, bounty that will uh, be yours uh, from uh, all this careful consideration. Great energy read today. Great. I know I don't say it enough, but I really, really, really appreciate that you tuned in uh, for this today. It means an awful lot to me. I mean, why would I be sitting here doing this if uh, I didn't hope that it would be something uh, that you'd like to watch and be meaningful for you? And I hope that it was meaningful for you. Uh, think about the read. It might apply to someone just close to you or, or even a neighbor, um, uh, or it might not apply at all. If it doesn't, that's fine. Just put it aside. Maybe look at it again later or pass on it, and uh, we'll try again another time. So have a great day. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.